welcome to the casual Misfits Gaming game night. Every Tuesday, uh, CMG gets together and we play... Well, we set aside one night a week to uh, play games together. This night's a little bit different. Um, well, a lot of bit different. We had one of our dear uh, friends and uncles pass away. His name was uh, Jesse Saucedo. And he, uh, he went by Rick Channel. He was a dear friend of ours, and um, this was his favorite game. We played this many nights together, and it was uh, a lot of fun, a lot of craziness, a lot of Jesse yelling at punk kids that thought they could trash talk against him, and we could just <laughs> sit back and listen to him to rip him up. Um, we tried to get as many of the original crew in here as we could. Not everybody can make it. We appreciate um, all of you, even if you couldn't make it, and we appreciate if you can't play but you're watching the stream right now. Um, Jesse meant the absolute world to us. If you didn't know him, I'm sorry. He was one of the most beautiful people you ever meet in your life. He can make you laugh. He can make you cry. And he was always there for you no matter what you needed. He might be 15 minutes late getting there, but he was always there. <laughs> Um, so true. Right now, I'm going to open it up because honestly, don't know if I can talk anymore. Um, to anybody that wants to say a few words about uh, Jesse, Mr. Rick Channel, you Let's guys can go uh, in order of the of the playlist if you. Do. All right, and I'll jump in. All right, whose whose volume um, is that? I don't, going crazy. I don't know what that noise is. But, um, Somebody turn down their volume. Thank you, whoever did that. Okay. There we go. It's on or good. All right. All right. So um, why we're doing this tonight is to honor our dear friend, Jesse, Rick Channel here. Um, the reason we're doing this is we spent countless hours on Gears of War. We're talking over a thousand hours, all of us together, playing. And this was his absolute favorite game there there was no game that even came close this this was his game so what we have decided to do tonight is we are going to play tribute to jesse because he is he means the world to us we lost him this last week and um this is uh we know he's above watching in fact he's right here in the spectator rick channel uh, from above right there He's watching us right now, and uh, we're just going to play for, you know, as many hours as we can go tonight just to show him tribute. Go ahead. And honestly, I'll, I'll keep the stream going as long as as long as you guys want to play. I, I don't care. Go ahead, No Jeans. All right. So, he and I always didn't see eye to eye, but that's just the way Jesse and we all were. Yeah, he was always there for, always there for you. He made us laugh. And, um, he always had a, a pet name for every single person that he met. It was always different. Yet, you felt part of something bigger. I mean, he is kind of a big guy, so it makes sense. But, um, this was the, his favorite game. We loved playing with him here and outside of Gears. So, he gets to see Michelle again, so I'm happy for that. I mean, he did lose others as well, and others lost him, but. At least he has a, a friend up there with him. So. 
Oh. Let's make this not a good one. Oh. Uh, Sorry, I got to. Um, this is hard. You know, but he always seemed to be that guy. How special he was. He he let me be little again. So to my little brother, ah, uh, for you, I miss you already, and we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun for you, because that's what you wanted. It's what you would have done. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, to, and to those of you who did, ah, uh, the hearts that this man touched, ah. Uh, there's no words. I, I don't. I don't have any right now. To my brother Jay, and to all my brothers and my family that come along, that are here today, I love you, my brothers. I love you. I want you to know that I love you. For you, Jess. For you, Mr. Channel. I'm here. Joseph. All right. Um... So obviously Uncle Jesse was very important to all of us. Um, he, uh, he had a way of, of brightening the room whenever he entered. <laughs> I, I'm gonna try my very best not to cry. And the reason for that is uh, him and I had a conversation a long time ago. It, I think he was driving me home or something after work and uh, <clears throat> you know, when when we worked with him, it could be very aggravating working with uh, with Jesse because it, you're working <laughs> with your boss, and so you naturally you just want to take things out on him. But you could come in at one o'clock in the morning after having worked since six in the morning the day before, and he'd be there the entire time waiting for you. And. Uh, some particular day he was giving me like a ride home or something and we somehow the topic of death uh, was brought up and uh, he told me that when he died he never ever wanted people to cry for him and that was a, a little selfish on his part because it just wasn't realistic but uh, he wanted people to tell jokes he wanted people to laugh and have a good time uh, and for, for particular me, uh, No Jeans and Dread Pirate, uh, I would say uh, F and I Pope, you definitely fall into this category too. A lot of us, our, our sense of humor was uh, kind of molded by him. Uh, and every joke we've ever made, whether to friends or people we didn't know, had a little bit of Uncle Jesse in it. A little bit of that channel. And uh, I'm going to try to make sure that <clears throat> I have fun and we have fun. And, and frankly, I think this is, we haven't done this in a long time. We used to do this all the time. It's a little unfortunate that this is the reason we're all back together again. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't become the last time until the next bad incident. But uh, I just want to uh, really use today to honor him. Uh, with laughter and humor and uh, everything that he held dear, not just the game, but the relationships that he created, uh, the relationships that he helped foster between us. Uh, one, one more quick little personal story. One time uh, when I was, I was 12, me and, my, me and uh, No Jeans were in a uh, Halo 2 doubles tournament. And... Uh, <clears throat> I wasn't very good as a 12-year-old at video games. Uh, Atu was fantastic, and we uh, we ended up losing. I want to say in like the semifinals or something like that. And Atu was really upset, and I felt like I had let him down, and I was really sad. And I I, I stormed out, and I just didn't know what to do. And I think I was crying and stuff. And he came up and found me and uh, put his arm around me and took me to the liquor store and bought me a root beer. And uh, told me, hey, man, don't worry about what's going on with your brother because 
at the end of the day, he's your brother. And you're always going to love him, and he's always going to love you. And stupid things like this are never going to matter. And as dumb as that was, that moment, that has never gone to the wayside. That, that moment has stuck with me my entire life. And uh, I just want you to know, Uncle Jesse, that I love you very much, as we all do. Jimmy. Um, this one's hard for me just because Jesse was, I don't know life without my brother, Jesse. I really don't. Um, to me, it's just like losing one of my brothers. Um, me and him literally talked three, four, five times a week. You know, I got into gears about a year and a half ago. And he'd jump online with me and just teach me the ropes and stuff like that. Um, this has become literally one of my favorite games because of him. Um, you know, my, my, my whole life has, you know, he's been there for me my whole life. Um, I catch myself still trying to call him. Uh... You know, my, my son, that's that's his Nino. And my son's been taking it really hard. And, you know, my son, uh, he loves this game too because of his Nino. Um, tonight, my son had his first game of the season. And I know Jesse was with him. I know in, in my son did very well tonight. Shiloh made it out from Vegas to see, you know, her, her role now to take over as Nino for my son, which is a huge void. Um, there's no word to express the hurt that I have at this point in time in my life or that I'm going to have for the rest of my life until I meet, until I see him again. Um, it's beyond hurt and i'm honestly just looking forward to this tonight i think it's going to help a lot of us out a little bit until we're able to put everything the rest of the end of this month um i love you jesse um and let's see when i get there man harvest okay <clears throat> Hearing all you guys, you guys are so beautiful, man. I'm gonna need a minute though, so just I need some peace. That's all right, man. That's all right. You guys all pretty much hit the nail. I love all you guys. Um, you guys all pretty much hit the nail on the head with this kid, man. Jesse. Not only an uncle, a friend, a brother, but like even a, far, a father figure to most. You know, he just, he had an unbearing presence that you could just not shy away from. Because he fought, like, you couldn't shy away from him. Because he forced you to be there with his love. Like, he was just so magnetic and there's too much to say about him, but really what I'm so grateful for is just him being there for me growing up. I had to grow up early than most, you know, provide for myself earlier than most. And he was one of the most solidified mentors I could ever ask for. And I'm just I'm very grateful for him, and I'm blown away by... Now that I actually get to put it in a real perspective at how many lives he actually touched in a very significant way. Not just a hi, bye, hey, we're cool, hey, how you doing type of thing. But he made sure he had an impact on every life he encountered. And it's just, it's, it's kind of cool to see it because I'm seeing a lot more of it now that this unfortunate you know, event of him passing happened. I knew it was there the whole time. 
but to look at the positive side of things, it's, it's just cool to see how much of an impact he made. You can't really see it until it's all out there to you, if you know what I mean. But anyways, um, yeah, it just phenomenal human, and I can't wait to spend uh, a great night with the rest of you guys, man. You guys are all great, beautiful people, and we're here for him. Like Joseph said, too, he, he molded a lot of our humors growing up. I'm not very articulate, so I don't know if I'm making sense right now. My mind's everywhere. Like, you guys killed me right now. Just broke my fucking heart even more. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Love you, Jesse. I love you guys. Uh, I'm glad to be here with you guys. That's it. Um, thanks, everybody. Um, we don't know if that meant anything to the stream, and honestly, it, it was for some people, this was just but it was mainly for us. Um, Shall we continue? Yeah. We, yeah, uh, let's get right on picked, Let's just go pay some trivia. We picked his favorite map, Canals, which is funny. This is actually my favorite map. I didn't I didn't know it was his favorite map. Thanks for letting me know that, Zoner. Um, we well, picked... Gridlock is right behind it. That's the same thing for yeah. me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that shows how much we all played together. Um, we chose Warzone. We know that the pro circuit plays Escalation, and everybody's all about that life. Um... Warzone's OG for us. This is what we played with Rick Channel. This is what we spent hours upon hours upon hours playing in private lobbies or open lobbies against just random people. And um, We have a little tribute, so without any further ado, I'm just going to get into this. I'm going to start the game. Thank you to anybody that's watching. Um, anybody that's that's uh, a fan or a new fan that doesn't know who we are, and you continue to watch. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for just anybody you for that joined us. Yeah, thank you to everybody that joined us. That even if you didn't really know him, you were willing to be here. Everybody get in your spots, please. Oh, stop, Bridge. <laughs> Good job, Corvus. <laughs> I stopped after the other bridge. <laughs> All right. Um. In honor of our uh, of our friend, oh, our comrade. uncle, fallen soldier, comrade. Mr. Rick Channel, Jesse Saucedo, we're going to have a quick moment of silence followed by a very short tribute, because um, we know he'd already be bugged that we're wasting this much time on him and not laughing yet. Thanks, <laughs> <sighs> jerk. All right, gentlemen, um, let's close it down for a moment of silence. If you're religious, pray. If you're not, just... Think about the man.
crazy stoners. Ready. Ready. Aim. Fire. Let's get it on. Let's play some fucking go. <laughs> Alright, so now that that's all over, can we focus on what a bastard yeah, he was? What's up, man? <laughs> what's up, bitch? <laughs> that was an awesome opening, Gabbard. <laughs> uh, fucking bastards. I got your back. I got your back. Alright, let's go. Guys. Get your chum yeah, yeah. on. Get your chum on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry yeah. for your guys' loss. And uh, if you guys need anything, you know, you guys can hit me up. So. Pretty much right ahead of us, uh, top bridge. Thanks, Thank man. you, man. You guys got my support, so we you guys can hit me up at the time. I got you. Hey, call it out. Yeah, call it out. Where do you guys see peeps? Oh. Hey, call it out with all ten of us. <laughs> Damn call right. Who the fuck is that? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Nice right, one, Puma. Just got my. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 not the man, Jay. <laughs> You know what my favorite part of that game was, that round, was that the other team was foolish enough to realize that uh, we were not going to pull a classic channel and just immediately, just immediately go after them. Like, we even left them. Yeah, right. Let's go do it, guys. Come on. We're getting. Deal with it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's do this. If that 